Jumptron. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I, I see what you're talking about. She's right there on the water. But I don't know, man. I, just, I don't think we can make a game out of this. Nah, man, plenty of games have boats that ain't sank yet. I mean, look at Call of Duty boats. Mediocre sales. The Sunk Boats DLC. Platinum seller. Oh, okay. So I suppose what you're telling me is that we should not make a game about the Titanic sinking. Yeah, believe it or not, someone out there actually decided it would be a good idea to make a game based off of the Titanic. You know, the great Titanic disaster of 1912 where 1,500 people met their fate with Davy Jones in one of the deadliest maritime disasters in history. That's like making a game about the Pompeii volcano incident. Tap A quickly to not die as fast! For some of the games like this one, Titanic Adventure Out of Time, I can kind of see where they were coming from at least. The Titanic was sort of a mysterious event, so they tapped into that and created a point-and-click adventure mystery game about it. It's pretty atmospheric, but it has that old, quirky, 90s PC game vibe. You know the one. This one. You came after all this time. <laughs> Come on, lady, give me some space. Come here. Mm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get there. Oh, there he is. Max Seidelman, Philadelphia, PA. Jim Belushi? Is that you? Did you travel back in time to hide from the fact that you were in Hoodwinked? It is good to see you up and about. You've been in your cabin the whole voyage. I bought the ticket. I'll do what I want. But that's not why we're here today. Now that game may be silly, but what I have to show you right now defies explanation. An NES game based on Titanic, the movie. The movie? The movie! With any major commercial success, there's an inevitable influx of off-brand or unlicensed merchandise to capitalize on the hype. And apparently, James Cameron's 1997 film Titanic was no exception. The movie grossed over $2 billion worldwide, and the only movie to pass it up since is James Cameron's very own Avatar with $2.7 billion. I get it was popular, but a video game about Titanic the movie? And an NES game? We have a Chinese company to thank for blessing us with this game, specifically Shenzhen Nanjing, true prophets of our time. Titanic came out in 1997. I mean, the N64 and the PS1 were already out. Who was this meant to be marketed to? No, really, what, moms? Kids? Anyone? The Iceberg fans? Anyone at all? Would you buy that? None of y'all wouldn't buy that! You're not fucking stupid! Oh, would you just listen to that? Majesty! Celine Dion would be so proud if she was still with us. You can pick from Rose or Jack. But with my thorough understanding of the film, I'm gonna say that Rose is probably the better option. Hey, but what can I say? I've always been a fan of certain doom. Let's go with Jack. For some reason, Jack's name has like a, a blood splatter on it. Is that supposed to be symbolic? Good God, China! All about symbols. Couldn't even make the alphabet. Do not give up. Do not be discouraged. You will be able to get out of here. It's not even poetic. It's just like they're on opposite balconies yelling practical advice to each other. Now I gotta say, they knew what they were doing with this one. Starting us off right in everyone's favorite scene, next to the sex car. Yeah, so far so good. I haven't even touched a controller yet. This is just what he does when you stand still. Wipes head, spits, turns around, repeat. All right, this is fantastic. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, th this game barely has any controls, apparently. I'm, what? I don't even understand. I don't, move it, I, I, I bet you, controlling the robot on Mars right now would be easier than this, and to do that, you have to send a goddamn signal off the sun in a robot and back to Earth. I bet there'd be less input lag. What did I expect? You're just trying to get from one end of the map to the other while dodging rats and ghost barrels. Just another day on the Titanic, folks. I can't quite, I, I, I can't quite get on the crate here. Ah! God! Okay. Died to a rat. Probably should have just waited to die the cool way, Jack, alright? It was it's coming in like 20 minutes. You blew it on a rat. You blew it on a fucking rat. You can't even attack, or if you can, I don't know how. But well, they had to stay true to the film, didn't they? I mean, can you blame them? This is a story about love, not violence. 
I am low on hearts. I better pick one up so the rat doesn't get me again. Oh, so hearts equals lifesaver? Then what equals heart? I, I, I can't even begin to wrap my head around that. I have no idea how to replenish health, and I don't even think you can. The next level is the hull of the boat or something. Wow, I can't get past this part. Where do you go? Seriously, there's spikes on the floor, and there's no way around that I can see. This sucks. <laughs> oh my god, there she goes. I have never experienced a continue screen that made me feel that guilty. I mean, it's my fault that happened. I did the Titanic. Also, I just want to point out that the two choices we're given here are continue and start. Guys, stop. You're giving me too many options. I'm only one man here. Playing with Rose is hilarious, though. She actually picks up her dress to jump. Hey, game journalists, look at that. They're not sexualizing your women for once. Isn't it all you hoped for? So thank God that's over. <laughs> I mean, it's over, right? There's not, there's not more, right? I mean, surely there weren't two companies crazy enough to do something like this. Right? Everyone at home? Are you sitting? I mean, probably weird if you were standing watching this. I mean, what do you, what do you, got, you got some sort of standing desk? Think you're better than me, don't you? Now, there was one more company that made a game based off this Titanic movie craze. And it's not really possible to find it as a whole game, or at least I couldn't. It comes on this cartridge called the Super New Year 15 in 1 cart. Accurate name! Oh, let me tell you, this game's expertly programmed. When you boot this game up, you're presented with a random selection screen that's sometimes in Chinese, sometimes in English, and sometimes without the full game list. If you're lucky and you get the right screen with all the games on it, you won't even know where to find the game because for some reason it's been split up into two pieces. If you want to play as Jack, it's called Hacker, and if you want to play as Rose, it's called Heroin. But why though? Titanic. What is that? I bet you thought that was a typo, huh? The name of the episode? Hey guys, look! John made a mistake on the internet! I bet there's a bunch of comments down there already about it, but I'll tell you what. I wish that was a typo. Because no one wants something like this for mankind. The fact that this exists means we already lost. Why bother changing the name if you're just going to steal the likenesses of the two main characters anyways? Oh, let me tell you, it's a good thing they didn't misspell Leonardo DiCaprio's face or we would have really had a problem! All right. Let's begin. In 1912, there is a noble American girl, Rose. She tried to get away from her arranged married, which is forced by her mother. At the same time, she met Jack, who is the young man on t <gasps> Titanic. Since Rose made a friend with Jack, he lighted on her life. Yeah, based on that car scene from the movie, I think he might have lighted on a couple of her other things, too. They were also fall in love with each other. It made up a very touching and tragic love story. This is mostly just tragic. Oh! Oh! Hey, Jack! I know the ship's sinking, but we gotta keep our cool here. You wanna add to the list of casualties? I don't think it was the iceberg that killed all those people. I think it was Jack. Oh, the first thing when I saw the movie, the first thing I said out the theater, I interrupted the whole group, I said, Where's the fightin'? Well, to my surprise, this game actually controls well. The fighting is tight and responsive. It's pretty satisfying to punch dudes. You can finally punch the rats this time around. That's good. Is he, uh, is he reading a newspaper? Oh, he's drawing. Get it? Because he draws in the movie? Remember? This is definitely accurate to the movie. Remember? Uh, excuse me, uh, t Titanic Management. I think you may have a well-endowed man standing in one of your grandfather clocks. I just thought I'd warn you. Oh, ho, ho, the chef's fighting! Oh, the chef's mad. I I'll tell you what, that's bad. Chefs are natural pacifists. You piss a chef off, you've done something wrong. Oh, shit, sorry about that. I, I didn't see you standing there. What can I say? Tensions were high. 
In most games that involve burly men destroying everything, a health power-up would consist of something like a turkey leg or a roast chicken. But in this game, you pick up lobster and wine. The bougiest of beat-em-ups! Eventually, you get to fight a boss that's essentially if Mr. T was infused with Donatello from the Ninja Turtles. Now that's a pretty dangerous combo right there. Alright, we're on the next level. No, alright! Okay, hold the phone! Rats? Understandable. Bats? A bit weird, but I guess I can see. But cobras? Unless this ship was headed to a snake charming convention, this is absolutely unreasonable. Hey, okay, it's no wonder the ship went down between Jack beating up every capable person running it and fucking goddamn cobras everywhere. I can hear the captain right now. Uh, yes, I'm looking out for icebergs, but currently I'm fending off a nest of cobras and a very aggressive man from Wisconsin. Also, I love when you punch the cobras. They react like they didn't even see it coming. They're just like, whoa, I'm out. That was a bad one. Ah, okay. The lifesavers try to kill you in this game. I'm pretty sure this is the literal opposite of what a lifesaver is named for and supposed to do. How did both of these games fail to use lifesavers as some sort of appropriate object? If, if you're asking me, that is proof of a grand deity right there, or maybe the proof of a lack of one? Oh yeah, that's right. I remember the part where Jack fights Herman Munster on top of a smaller ship on top of the Titanic. That was the best part! I don't even know what's this guy's problem. He attacks you by firing a gun angrily and thrusting his dick at you. I don't know, we're in international waters. I guess anything goes. <laughs> Once you beat this guy, he's like, You have bested me! Here is the deed proving so! Man, 1910 times were weird! This time around, we're playing as Rose, who's a geisha ninja, apparently. Oh yeah! Come on! Get him! Get him, Rose! You're an independent woman! Can't forget the flying eggplants. Man, 1910 times were scary! All right, finally, beat him. See you later, Herman Munster, again, for some reason. Every night in my dreams, I see you. I feel you. It's beautiful. It was the most beautiful love story I've ever seen. When we have kids, we're sitting out on a beautiful summer's night. I'm going to look you in the eyes, Rose. I'm going to be like, remember when you beat up that fat guy who was trying to kill you with a shotgun and knocked her and Munster off the Titanic a couple times? I'm glad we made it through that. I love you. You know what? I think you're right. On second thought, I, I don't think it's going to work. But I got one for you better. Schindler's List HD Remix. <laughs> JonTron is made possible in part by companies like Audible.com. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you feel like supporting JonTron, consider signing up for a 30-day trial at Audible.com using this link, audible.com slash JonTron. It's audiobooks, so if you like to listen to those, it's very good for that. If you don't like what you see, it's hassle-free. You can just cancel. My personal recommendation for you this month is Samuel L. Jackson's Go the Fuck to Sleep. Yeah, that's a real thing. You can, if, you, if you sign up right now, you can get it for free. It'll lull you right to sleep. Till next time, folks. And don't forget, if you want to watch more JonTrons, click those annotations.